What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the second episode or the second let's play of uh, Space Engineers. In the first let's play we um, <coughs> merged our ship, our atmospheric lander, onto our base platform which uh, helped us save a lot of the energy that was stored in the ship. Uh, we didn't lose any of the battery power and uh, we still have uh, three or two batteries in the container but uh, what we did not do in the first episode was to add solar panels on the roof. Now, as you may have noticed, I have gone ahead and uh, removed the thrusters on the side. I've also removed the uh, beacon that was there. <coughs> I removed the gyroscope, which was there because, well, we don't need it anymore. I added back the conveyor because um, I was not able to refill my hydrogen bottles anymore. And what I found out was that hydrogen bottles get refilled at the oxygen generator, as you can see. And um, we needed the conveyor for that, otherwise it was not connected. So that's great. And uh, let's see. Um, yeah, there were some things uh, that went wrong. I was recording and uh, the game crashed a couple of times, which was very annoying. And um, the way it is, I don't... Uh, have auto save on because I think it's annoying having the world saved every five minutes so I saved the things manually and turns out that uh, the recorder was not recording it was black so I saved at some point uh, after the let's play and uh, that was where I removed all these so I couldn't show you guys but it's boring to show you guys how I removed the engines uh, anyway so what oh what had just happened <clears throat> okay so i glitched through the window apparently anyway uh the sun is down uh which is great because we're going to add our solar panels and when the sun comes up everything should be ready so let's get started right um we're going to add uh, i think i was thinking of adding a rotor here because i know that the sun comes up from this side but the sun went down somewhere there, so that's kind of weird. So I'm not 100% sure, but when we add a rotor, we can simply rotate the solar array towards the sun and get full efficiency on them. So uh, let's grab some stuff. Let's see, we need a rotor. Let's uh, put them in here, rotor. Uh, we need solar arrays, which we have already. Let's see, I need steel plate. Uh, steel plate. What else do I need? Probably need a computer, a construction component, a motor for the rotor itself. Right, there we go. Let's place it right here. And uh, let's see how far we can weld this up. I need four large steel tubes. All right. That is enough steel tube, I guess. Maybe too much. Now there is also a part on the top. Oh wow! <laughs> Actually, need the 24 for that, so that's good. All right. So now let's see if we can add. Uh, we're gonna add. We have six. Uh, solar panels so let's go one and then I want to add back the uh, the um, beacon that I removed I think it will look good if we do this let's see it should yep like that let's weld this up maybe what we can do as well for now is just add uh, little slope there you know to save ourselves some uh, hydrogen I'm gonna try and uh, use as less hydrogen as possible it's still late all right let me grab some of these so power cells no um, 
Construction components, always need them. Motor, we got a lot of motor from those um, thrusters. Those two big thrusters on the side, they gave a lot of motors. And those motors are very heavy, so I had to run back and forth a couple of times. Detector components, is that used in a beacon? I'm not sure. Small steel tube, probably not. All right. Oh. What well, what did I get then? Did I get gear? No, I did get small steel tube. So we need radio communication and 60 small steel tube. Oh. There we go. Radio communication. Let's put some of this back. Small steel tube. Alright, let's try and see how far we can get with this. Then when this is finished, we can uh, add the solar array. Ah, seriously. Small steel tube. Did I not get those or was I full or something? Alright, this should do it. We gotta hurry up because uh, I, I want this to be done before the sun comes up because we also going to make a uh, exploration ship radio communication that's all that's all that we need all right doesn't matter I'm going to add the solar array right now so that I can lose some of the inventory um, I want the indicators to be on the inside like so yeah good then I want one on top, there we go, and I want one on this side, like right there in the middle, great, and uh, other side, same story, let's get, oh I just had it, I don't know what it did, I still gotta like really pay attention to what these buttons are. There we go. Come on. Alright, so let's remove all the stuff. Alright, so this one we can even build it right now. However, let me put all the materials in there. And in there. Need a lot of solar cells. Some steel tubes. So we put all the materials in there. That's great. Need to find a way to get around it now. So you need a large steel tube. Oh yeah, radio communications. And uh, solar array. Alright, maybe we don't need so many steel tubes, let's just get uh, 20, 30, <clears throat> so we can carry more of those. Right. Next trip we're gonna finish off the uh, this thing, get the uh, communication components. I'm not gonna make like a solar tracking sun tracking solar array like the rotor automatically moves towards the sun because you need mods for that and I haven't installed them and uh, I'm, I'm just going to turn it around incidentally when I see that hey it's not greatly aligned towards the sun and it needs to change I think it will only we only have to change it once because I think the sun comes up and goes down on the same area Obviously, it oh, need more solar cells for that. Obviously, the sun goes out down somewhere and goes up the other side, but I'm, I don't expect it to go down here and to come up there. I mean, that's not how it works, right?
All right, solar cells are needed here. And here, same thing. And here, so we just need solar cells and um, radio communication con components. Nine of them. And all the solar cells that are found in the inventory. I don't think we need those. Those are really heavy solar cells. Even in real life, they are real heavy. They have, uh, the government here has um, a fund for people who want to have, uh, like they, they don't sponsor it, but they have, um, yeah, like a fund for people who want solar cells on their roof. They give you like a tax discount. And um, it's all so that, you know, green environment, green energy. But yeah, from, from there I know that they are really heavy and this game, like, uh, confirms it. Walking on a very thin line. There we go, we fell. Just hurry up and sort this up. Alright. These are done. This is done. This is done. This needs some welding. Solar cell. Oh, yeah, of course. We have finished all of them. We'll probably get the last ones now. There we go. We got the last ones. There we go. Those are finished. Now this is the last one. Yeah, sorry guys, we're doing a let's play in the dark. But you know, sun goes up, that's great. Sun goes down as well. That is the moon, I think. It looks very smooth, so that must be the moon. And um, I know that we're going to go there sometime. Within these let's uh, plays, we're gonna go there definitely. I'm gonna check that out. We're gonna make like a rocket, and we're gonna go there see if there's resources. Maybe there are pirates. I have no idea to be honest. I know that there is also a green planet, which is called the alien planet, and there are spiders there, and uh, it's crazy right there. So, oh no. So we got a solar array done. Let's just, uh, there we are. <laughs> looks good. It looks funny. Looks fine to me. Let's see how we can rotate it. We need uh, the rotor. I'm just gonna call it solar array rotor. Makes more sense to me. And uh, let's see what this is. Torque, how fast? Yeah, it can break. How fast will stop? I don't want it to, uh, yeah, upper limit, lower limit. Let's put this to zero degrees. And this the same so that it won't be spinning around the whole time. Rotor displacement. All right, this is uh, that uh, maybe you might notice in the background the solar array going up and down. We're gonna make this go up. Safety lock speed. It shouldn't go very fast. It's a solar array. It's not a race car. So. I also added some transparency to the uh, terminal so that I can see some of the background. Uh, you won't be able to see it now a lot, but when it's, you see, you can see some of the, when it's light, daylight, the sun is out, you can see a lot behind it, which is really good. But now let's go ahead and see if we can turn this all area. Upper limit, there we go. It's not moving, but do we have uh, enough energy? Batteries are online. Oh, there's one. Yeah, I switched those off, I guess. Did I switch off the uh, reactor? Yes, I did. This thing should have enough energy. Stored power, three megawatts. That is max. 
Ja. Oké. Okay. Lock is on. Alright, the velocity is on zero. So it won't have any speed to turn. It's turning right now. This is awesome. Oh, it's turning with the block. <laughs> so if the sun is on this side, then we can just turn it that way. But let's uh, reverse it a little bit. There we go. This is fine. We're going to see how uh, the position of the sun is when it comes up. And for now, we're going to fill up this uh, area, I think. And remove the uh, extra block that I put there. There we go. So they're all red, which basically means they're offline. They're not broken, but there's no source of light. So, let's go ahead and um, build our uh, exploration ship. We did this on time, we did it pretty fast. So, there we go. Let's build this up though. Steel plate. There we go. So now our only way out. I also made a way out right here, but it looks quite ugly. But we need to find a position. This is like, we gotta fix this now. We gotta fix it. It's ridiculous that I have to use the uh, jetpack to fly out and in. It's a waste and it's just plain stupid. So let's fix this up first. Let's make a catwalk uh, right there. Let's just add all these catwalks and um, start with the corner, should be right here. I need interior plate. No problem, dude. We got a lot of those. I don't think we're going to weld them up right now because they are mighty expensive. Just messed up right there. go all right we're gonna fix that up too maybe we can leave it open now we're gonna close it up is the does it matter like uh all right so if i use this one it costs me 32 interior plates. If I use the one with one side, it costs 27. So basically, we're wasting a lot of interior plates by putting the wall on the same side. So I'm gonna fix that. We don't need to do that. Let me just remove this one as well. there. You know it saves a lot. No, we need this one actually. <laughs> this one can go. And this one can go. And, uh, this one can go. Alright, so we probably need something like a stairs around here. Ah, there we go. Got stairs, number five. Probably need to make a small elevation right here. Th 
There, we fixed it. Now we can actually walk to our front door without having and still enjoying the view tomorrow when it uh, gets light and uh, without having to waste our jetpack. Let's see, we got a half of hydrogen bottle. There we go, thank you. So what are we gonna do now? We're gonna build our uh, exploration ship, which is gonna be pretty awesome. Maybe we should remove this for now so that we can have some quick access to uh, where we're going to build stuff. Yeah, like this is what I mean. What is there behind anyway? Oh. Okay. I'm gonna fill this up too if I get the materials. Those things, some some of these things are really heavy. <clears throat> the glass is super heavy. I'm gonna put the glass away. Get some construction components. Get some large steel tube. We always need that power cell. Oh yeah, those are were for the batteries. Uh, we need one display, I think. And uh, some computer is always needed. Detector components. We need that for the uh, ore detector. Uh, let's see how far we can get with this. So, let's make a small platform right here. So that we can have an area to build on. Probably weld one up. Just the middle one for now. I'll do all the welding off screen. It's not a problem. So, we're gonna make a small ship. There we go. Um, we're not gonna make a crawler. We're gonna make a ship because, um, to be honest, I'm not really good at making crawlers. Plus, I think they're like a little bit buggy and glitchy, and uh, a ship is much more cooler. You can just fly over the, over the, the area right there uh, without having to go up and say, uh, there's been some bugs or glitches that you fall through. For example, the eyes, there's some spots where there's no world and then you just fall through, which can be annoying. So this seems a good, good thing to do. Plus we're going to make one that is really efficient. Doesn't waste a lot of resources. So yeah, we should make one that has um, a storage space. It needs a battery as well. Let's see, what's this? this? Is a conveyor. Let's add a medium cargo container. We need a cockpit. We need a. Uh, we need thrusters. For now, we don't have hydrogen thrusters, but we'll go there very soon because that's why we landed at uh, the lake. We need an ore detector and we need atmospheric thrusters. Where are they? Thrusters. Mm. Are they not called thrusters? What are they called? All oh, right, I just wrote it wrong. Such an idiot. Landing gear. Uh, yeah, we can use that. And we need a gyroscope. There we go. So we're gonna make it basic. It's not gonna be super handsome or anything um, we need to add a number five right here uh, we're gonna add a battery as well but um, the thing is we're gonna add a uh, cargo container plus a uh, connector and then we're gonna add a connector right here that uh, connects to the battery and when the energy is low I wonder though how far we can fly with this how many air, how much air time we get before the battery on the ship is drained and we have to dock it to our little base over here to, to recharge it. But we'll find that out. For now I'm gonna add the yeah on top so that we can just have it uh, like an arm. You know we can dock it to an arm. 
So that's uh, that idea, and we need a battery, which I have at the end. There we go. We have the storage space so that we can uh, go around scouting for uh, ores, we can drill some up, we can put them in there. And yeah, it's always good to have some storage space on any ship. Unless you have a fighter, even on a fighter, it can come in handy. So, let's see uh, the thrusters, we're gonna put the thrusters. We need to account for the gravity, which is pretty hard. So we're gonna add multiple thrusters. I was thinking atmospheric thruster here and one there. And uh, on both sides too, so that we don't fall to the ground. There, so we got upward lift. Now we need lift to the... Uh, now we need some braking. It's gonna be super fast. It's gonna be a sweet little exploration ship. This is to go forward. Then here I'm going to add one. Go... No. To go... How did I add that one? Right, I need one to go backwards. Though... Um, I think I made a small mistake. This is to go forward. Then I need one to go backwards. Where did I? Number eight. <clears throat> yeah. Let's see. I can also add the backwards on the end. Because I don't want them to go to interfere. No, this is good. This is to go forward. Forward trust. Alright? Now let's add those right here. Then this is braking, so I'm gonna turn them around like that. I think that solved the problem. So this is like braking thrusters. They are there to stop the ship. Because we have two to go forward, two to go backward and brake. And we need some turning. Turning we don't need uh, a lot. One to go that away, and one to go that away. <laughs> and obviously, we don't have to forget the ore detector, which is a nice spot right there. And uh, the gyroscope, I guess we'll just add it next to it, or we can no, we can probably remove uh, a block somewhere underneath. Can't really reach it now, though. Yeah, I should probably remove one of a block like in the middle or something to have it covered away. It's pretty ugly when it gets on top. All right, we can also use a uh, spotlight in order to see at night. There we go. So now we only need to add the or the. For now, I'm just gonna add it here just to get the ship complete. The gyroscope. When the ship is up and running, I'm gonna add one. I'm gonna make it hover in the air for a little while. And yeah. Probably needs more feet as well. But we're gonna add that later. For now, let's weld everything together, see what materials we need. Let's start with the ore detector. So we need motors. Construction. Nope, that's fixed. Seems like we need to bring a lot of motors. 18 for each thruster. And we have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Which is 180 thrusters. A 180 motors. That's a lot of thrusters. Alright, so let's jump in. Where we go? Get some motors. Uh, okay. Alright, we can only carry 110. We put all the ore detector components in there, so we don't need them. Gear there, we don't need those either. Uh, we might need some construction, some computer, a large steel tube. Always need those for something. The metal grid, I've seen them come by. Probably lose some of this. Yeah, let's see how far we can get with this. Mm. 
great thing we have a free battery we have like two or three free batteries that the uh, that the game has given us with the uh, with the same ship and um, we didn't we didn't need those for our base because we merged it we merged the whole ship which was like incredible very efficient so we can use those batteries for uh, different ships but uh, we're gonna have to check out how much airtime they're gonna give us alright so I need some motor construction components uh, display bulletproof glass yeah Mortar, construction component, display, bulletproof glass. Motor, that's a lot. Construction component. And bulletproof glass, we need like 30 of them, right? Yeah. Uh, we need one display, I think we added the display already. No, we did not. Okay. All right, I forgot the computers. Cargo container is uh, good to go. Battery, we need some power cells and computers. Alright, thrusters are go. Let's see, nothing is interfering. This is pushing this way, this is pushing this way, this is pushing that way. If the game is really realistic, would mess something up like this, make them less efficient, because they're both sucking up the same air? No, obviously not, because they would work. If we're going forward, this would go. If we want to break, this would stop, obviously, then this would suck up all the air, so there should be no conflict unless we want to go up and uh, go backwards at the same time that could be a conflict that this engine is sucking up the fire from this engine and well, I don't know, I don't know if the game counted for that maybe we'll find out so what do we need now, power cell, computer display a lot of computer a lot of power cell all right oh yeah display I got four display I uh, needed five oh crap Uh, gyroscope is good, I think. Where are the power cells? There they are. Alright, let's see how far we can get. Alright, I put the... I just need one more display. There we go. We've got energy going on. Uh, the gyroscope, we need to fix that up. We need to sw shut down the system because the, they are already started wasting the battery. I need to find a display very fast. Alright, we got these things. They should have a display, right? Yes, 10 of them. Awesome. Oh, already grinding in the wall. We did all this. Suitable base, we did that. Fineries, we have them. Design and build combat, no, we don't have them yet, but we will soon. After we find some ores, obviously. There we go. 
Now we only need to add the uh, connector on top. But we only also have to add a connector right here somewhere. Alright, I forgot. Uh, in Even in Earth, you need oxygen if you sit in one of these. And we actually need like an oxygen tank. But those things are huge. Uh, those things are pretty big, if you ask me. Way too big. So what I'm gonna do is when we're going... To, we can uh, make some oxygen tanks. Right? Because we have some in here. Oxygen bottles is what I meant. They're not that heavy. Uh, we can have some oxygen bottles. We can put some. We can make some more. We can put them in the inventory there. Uh, I don't think they're gonna spread the oxygen in there. However, or what I also read is that you can add an air vent. Let's see how big that is. That pretty much. Oh, it's really small. Oh, well, then that's no problem. We're gonna add an air vent in here. Maybe even at the front. Right? Makes sense. They're really small, right? Here they are quite big. But what happens is you can suck out oxygen from this area and put it right into the cockpit. Too bad we don't have any. Yeah. Uh, we can also make like a conveyor system, I guess. But we don't have any openings, so oh man. Yeah, there's like, there's two openings there, but we've placed the, uh... Alright, well, the only solution is this. So, let's add the oxygen thing, anyway. Uh, where was it again? Number four. There we go. We need two metal grid. It's funny though, you either have to sit in the cockpit, close your helmet, and use up the oxygen that you have in your suit. Or you, you, you're gonna suffocate. Obviously it's true, because that thing is airtight, so it makes a lot of sense. But it's quite funny since you're on Earth, you know, they should make like an, a normal cockpit that can work in the atmosphere. I think that should be like an item in the next update or any update um, right so we need a metal grid oh, I never really looked into that in the air vents so then we have to uh, set it to something like as you can see the oxygen has none we have four days of fuel time. Um, standing still, obviously. Air vent. S uh, depressurize. This vent will remove air from the room and store it in tanks. No. I actually want it to pressurize. I don't know what this is, though. I don't know what, what setup up actions is. I want on. What, what happens if I put it on? Yeah! This is okay, so this is weird because uh, the description maybe doesn't match. All oh, right, the room it's outside. Obviously, the room is the the outside, and um, good. So we fix that. We have high oxygen, so I can put my helmet off. Oh, that's sweet, guys. That is sweet. Does it use a lot of energy? I used some. Let's see the air vent uh, input. I actually used some. We don't need the room pressure. The room is actually Earth or the atmosphere. So, guys, we have uh, our gyroscope. We just need to add back our uh, flashlight. 
spotlight. Can we add our spotlight just on top of that? That would be. Let's just add it here. It's pretty ugly. Then it maybe wouldn't even work. Nice. We have um, enough materials. So I think this thing uh, is, as far as the components, is ready. Let's see if we can bring it up a little bit. Let's unlock this. Dampeners are on. It's what? Ship fuel low? <laughs> That's not a good idea. That's not a good sign. Uh, although we're stuck on that thing, it doesn't want to release. Of course, I did not weld it together. Motor and large steel tube. Actually, might want to uh, get some extra. Um, no, not all of those. Like uh, three. Our last motor. Where is the motor? Because um, I might want to add more landing gears. All right. I also need a construction component. I was thinking one here in front is good maybe two in the back on the edge or I can simply remove it and put it somewhere else but let's check out uh, disconnect oh we're going up <laughs> okay so let's check out backwards yep it's working backwards and forwards it's working Oh, that's so fast. Oh no, I forgot to add. Fuel low. I forgot to add going down. Ship well, fuel we have low. gravity for that, so let's switch off the dampeners. Oh jeez, that goes down very fast. So let's check out uh, banking. It's not banking, but strafing. Shaving seems good. Ship fuel low. So let's take it for a small spin. Ship fuel low. Stop complaining about the fuel. Ship fuel critical. All right, so there's uh, it's really fast. Ship fuel oh, low. The sh the f obviously, the ship fuel is low because the battery is it's like not even charged that's why i was getting disappointed that this is all the air time we can get nine minutes but no the battery is just empty we have braking power right all right so let's dock it right next to our base Wait, I am going down. Or no, I'm not. Yes, I am. Ship fuel low. If I uh, press C, it makes me go down. Ship fuel low. I think it just makes the engine stop. Ship fuel low. Like it, it, it knows that there's no thrusters, so Ship if fuel low. I want to go down, I just switch the thrusters off or something or, or some parts of the inertia dampers and it uses the gravity to go Ship down fuel low. that's great so let's put this thing down Ship fuel low. Ship fuel low. come on man stop complaining Ship there fuel we go low. got locked up switch that baby off so Oh, right, it's getting light, guys. It's getting light. So, the solar panels are picking up some uh, some stuff. Where's the sun, though? I think the sun is coming there, right? So, let's try and aim our uh, solar array towards the sun. Fix this up. Yeah, that's that's where all the light seems to come from. So let's check out solar array.
I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, I can see it in the background. There. It should probably go a bit faster, because... I have no idea what I'm doing right now, but it's turning. Yeah, as you can see, they are now full. They are now... one of them is at full. Um, however... I don't think this can hurt, right? Current angle... Why was the velocity on backwards? Alright, let me just let it spin. There. It's done now. Lower limits, upper limits. No, I want it to go the other way. So now it turn it's like spinning forever. There, I think this is good. Right. Now the solar array is aimed towards the sun. I don't I haven't seen the sun yet but all the light is coming from that that way so let's check out they are all full all full bars that is great I wonder how much energy they're gonna give us um, that's gonna be it guys for this let's play um, we're going to add the uh, connector in the next episode so that we can recharge our exploration base our expla uh, exploration ship and um, we can explore and mine some stuff and uh, let's see how everything will go so for now thank you guys so much for watching my video I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did I hope you guys learned something uh, I did learn something about the air vent I did not know that and uh, okay the battery is low because it's switched off I hope you guys um, like this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet Please leave a comment, give me some tips or what I can improve or what you would like to see. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. For now, have a good day and uh, I'll see you later. Bye bye.